bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today we are dismantling this evil, wicked lie that many false teachers have beguiled masses of people to believe that in Malachi chapter 3, where he asked the question, will a man rob God? Modern day false teachers have twisted this scripture. They have caused so many people to psychologically, emotionally, spiritually, not only fall away from God, but to walk in constant fear that God is going to curse them if they do not bring to those preachers, to these organizations, 10% off of every dollar, a dime, of their hard-earned monies. But what we're going to find when we really look into these scriptures, beloved, that Malachi... First and foremost, in Malachi chapter 1, verse 6, and Malachi chapter 2, verse 1, it is very clear who the audience was. The prophet Malachi was speaking to the priest and the Levites, the son of Levi. That's who the audience was. And remember what we said in the other video, beloved, when you study the scriptures, you must consider the audience to keep all that you're reading in its contextual. You have to keep the context. You have to leave it where it belongs and, and know these questions. They have to be answered. Who was Malachi speaking to? He was speaking to these priest, most notably a priest named Elias Hib. It's, his name is found in Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 4 and 5. This priest was given this responsibility to uh, distribute the tithes. And we know that the tithes was not money. It was crops, the Bible says clear in, in, in Nehemiah, it was the corn, it was the wine, it was the oil. His job was to make sure that all the workers in the temple received their portion. And this would include the singers, the gatekeepers, the priests, and the Levites, all of them served in the temple. We will find this fact in Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 10, that this, this is what his job was. But this evil priest, Eliashib, his name is difficult. Y'all know the names in the Bible be. <laughs> but this, this evil priest was also dealing with an evil man who was an enemy of God. His name was Tobiah, T-O-B-I-H. You'll find his name mentioned in Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 7. He was an enemy of God, and this Eliashib allowed Tobiah to, to live in the storehouse. You will find these facts in Nehemiah 13 and 7. And the Bible says when Nehemiah was commissioned. He was given permission by the king of Persia to go back to Jerusalem to help rebuild the walls after they had come out of exile. And for those of you that are Bible students, you know that the first temple of Solomon had been destroyed. The Israelites had been taken captive. They were, they were taken captive. And some of them had come back to Jerusalem. And so when Nehemiah got word of this, he wanted to go help his people. So it was Nehemiah, and we find this in chapter 2, verse 10 through 19, and also in Nehemiah chapter 6, 10 through 19, Nehemiah called a solemn assembly. He assembled all of the, the Israelites who had been scattered they were coming back to the holy city, uh, Jerusalem, but he needed to reestablish the commandments of God, the law of Moses. They were still under the old covenant. So he brought forth Ezra. 
Ezra was a scribe. He was the one that studied the law. He was like a lawyer, if you will. He was a scribe. So Ezra came and he opened up the law because this is what he did. He studied so he knew what the commandments of God were. And they were trying to get the people to come back and, and begin to bring their offerings, their tithes. Remember the tithe, it was food. It was corn. It was, it was according to Nehemiah. Um, the Bible is clear in Nehemiah 13, 4 and 5 that it was the crops. It was the animals. This is how everyone that served in the temple was taken care of. So when Nehemiah had Ezra read and, and get the people back in order, the Bible says in the book of Nehemiah that the people were glad to give. So the people were bringing their herbs, their spices, their corn, their animals. They was bringing it to the storehouse. But the, the purpose of Malachi 3 was this prophet come to speak against them and tell them, y'all keep stealing. <laughs> And so Malachi is commissioned by God to go tell them, will a man rob God? You stealing all of these tithes? Now listen, the Bible tells us, follow me, friend. When Nehemiah and Ezra, they did the solemn assembly. Ezra's reading it out. The people said, you know, no problem. We could do this. This evil Eliashib called for the people because him and Tobiah obviously was likely stealing the types and selling them because there was nothing in the storehouse. So where is it? So he's asking them to, to look, we need you to bring more to replenish the storehouse. And, 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 and beloved Nehemiah gets a hold to this information and this evil priest, Eliasha, he's fired and Nehemiah puts a new person in charge over the storehouse. But in between that, here comes Malachi, which is the, the, the scripture that is so, is shocking how many men and women are beating, bullying, and harassing the unlearned with this scripture that we find in Malachi. We'll pick up from here. This is, this is where God then sent the prophet to speak to him because of the thievery of this evil priest and other priests as well, because somebody had to be helping them move all this food and all this, uh, uh, the crops and the animals. So the priests were stealing it. And because they were stealing it, the Bible says in Nehemiah chapter 13 and 10, the singers, the gatekeepers, the priests, and the Levites had to go back to the fields and work because there was no food. They, they're doing all the work, but they were not being fed. They were not getting their portion. Now, this is found in Nehemiah chapter 13 and 10. And here's where we pick up, where the false teachers are stealing, raping, robbing, bullying, fleecing, hoodwinking, and destroying modern-day followers of Jesus, destroying masses of people's lives with this false doctrine, the twisting of the scriptures, just lying on God. And the question is, will a man rob God? And let me tell you who's robbing God. Every last one of you that's teaching that tithing is a requirement of the New Testament follower of Jesus, you are a thief. You're a temple thief. You're, 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 you, are, you are going to give an account. Follow me very closely, beloved. Look up every scripture I've given you. God will lay to your account all of the people you have brainwashed with your thievery. You're robbing God. You're robbing his people. You're putting them under all types of mental duress, and you will have to give an account. Follow me, beloved. If you do not repent, many of you that will watch this video, you need to repent because you are robbing God. You are a thief. And you are using the Holy Scriptures to do it. Shame on each one of you. Get to the altar while there is time to repent. Because God will not overlook your thievery. Because that's what you all are. Every last one of you that's teaching this. You're a thief. Malachi chapter 1 verse 13. Malachi comes, he has four charges against these priests. Not He's not talking to the people at all. He's talking to these priests and the Levites. This is what he said. 
in Malachi chapter 1, verse 13, you all, he, he tells them you are uh, scoffing at the commandments of God, disregarding God's commands. Number two, the animals, the sacrifices, the, the tenth that you're so-called bringing, this is Malachi talking to him. He said, the animals are stolen, they're weak, they're sick, and they're lame, and God don't want them. So they were bringing <laughs> pathetic animals to the uh, storehouse. Number three, and this is in Malachi 3, verse 5, leading up to where he asked the question, will a man rob God? Malachi 3 and 5, he lays this charge against them. You're exploiting the widows and the orphans. And then he asked the question, and I read it. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. They were stealing from the nation, the, the, those that had come back to Jerusalem out of exile. They were stealing from the nation their types, their food, their crops, their herbs. And what, what they were doing with the, the storehouse temps or types, excuse me, we don't know. The Bible doesn't say that. But Malachi is clearly talking to these evil, wicked priests. Because you're robbing God, because those that care for the temple, which there is no more temple, so we, we do not, and I've said it in the other videos of the false doctrine of tithing, that there is no more temple. So, so we are not obligated to bring our crops, our, our mint, our, um, deal, our herbs, our animals, our corn. It, it's been done away with when Jesus shed his blood. And we find in Luke chapter 22, where Jesus said the new covenant has come through the shedding of blood. He was the final lamb slain. But Malachi is clearly speaking to these wicked priest, most notably the priest that had been given uh, stewardship over that storehouse, e Eliashib and Tobiah, who had no business in the storehouse whatsoever. And it was him and Sam Ballad and Ma excuse me, and now Nehemiah chapter 2, 10 through 19 and 6, 10 through 19, that was harassing Nehemiah while he was trying to build back up those walls. So that is who Malachi was talking to, beloved. We are no longer anyone that follows Jesus Christ. We are to give as we purpose to give. We are that storehouse now. We are a living temple where God and Jesus, Jesus said, if you love me and could keep my commandments, me and my father will come in and make an abode and my sheep know my voice. Why? Because he tabernacles now with us. He lives in our hearts. The true and the living God through Christ Jesus, he is in us. This is the temple. Your, your body is that temple. And there is no more necessity to bring your herbs, to bring your deal, to bring your cumin, or to bring your mint leaves, your corn on the cob. Trust me, beloved, they ate a lot of corn. There's no need to bring uh, lambs and cows. And we've been set free by the free gift of grace through Christ Jesus. So, beloved, Malachi, that's what it was all about. They were trying to build back up Jerusalem. They had corruption with the priesthood. They were stealing the food and it could not provide for the other people that worked in the temple, the singers, the gatekeepers, the priests, the Levites. They had nothing because these priests had something else going on with that provision that the nation was giving. I believe in Nehemiah, you'll find if you search it, they were glad to be given to the priests. It was the priests that was stealing it. And because they stole it, they could not divide it up with everyone that helped keep the temple. So beloved, God bless you. 
and may the spirit of Christ be with you to pull you away from all of this corruption, all of this evil, wicked, vile, uh, uh, damnable doctrines that are pervasive all over the world, lying on God for a dime. And you pastors that are watching me and you preachers and anyone else that's defending this false doctrine, you will not escape God's judgment because you are robbing God. You are stealing. It is embezzled. You're an embezzler. And God will not allow you to escape his judgment unless you repent. God bless you. And may he or she that has an ear, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying to us. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.